What is going on everyone? KM Dolph back for your weekly installment of Transport Fever 2 in this River Dream series. Now before I get into anything today, please make sure you hit the like button on this video as hard as you possibly can. Uh, comment your suggestions for future episodes in the comment section below. Like and follow me on Facebook as always and subscribe to this YouTube channel if you have not already. And click the notification button so you can keep up to date with all things KM Dolph as we go through this ongoing Transport Fever 2 series. Uh, as you can see, we're here today in Hillsdale. Uh, as I've got a big train coming in there with some freight. Uh, freight's dropped off a little bit, but uh, that's only because of uh, the things I did in the last episode, and I haven't spent, I haven't let the game roll forward too much. Uh, as you know, all freight trains now have the 2000, year 2000 naffies on them, and that's all well and good. Uh, we're going to do something... don't know what we're quite going to do yet. I'm contemplating a couple of things. So, I'm going to show you something I have done off camera. Uh, not any sort of real uh, expansion, per se. But just some aesthetically pleasing bits and pieces. So, we're going to get into that first today. And we're going to do that right after the intro. It's Okay, and we're now back from the intro, and we're on the other side of Hillsdale Station. Now, as you can see, first and foremost, this uh, this happy little bit of road here is new. It does cross over at this uh, little junction here, it's on the other side of the train station. Uh, but what it does is it leads down to my latest creation. Uh, as you can see, I've done a little bit of work. I've put some railroad sleep... Oh, hell no. You ain't building out there. Oh, well. If you do build out there, good on you. Um, yeah, got some railroad sleepers there. Got a couple of trains here. Got some assets sitting around. Got all kinds of things. I've got a shed down the back here with an NR sitting in it. Uh, another little tank engine with some stuff. I've got a water tower. More, f more old GW stuff. One of those old little flat wagons that I was using for a bit. And then as you can see on this side, apart from uh, the Hillsdale cow, who's the mascot for Hillsdale, uh, quite good dairy from what I hear, um, we've got some barrels, we've got some pipes, we've got some lumber, got a, got a couple of cars underneath a tree, a little bench, a dude standing there, another dude over here, I've uh, got a truck, another big truck, a BP truck for the fuels. And then a couple of parked cars over here. Nice big oil tanker thing there. And as you can see, a couple of little, um, couple of little bits and bobs floating around the outside there for your light posts. And yeah, I think I think that looks a lot more aesthetically pleasing than it did before. But yeah, little little drive around, drive back around. Don't know why it's got. Uh, has that got? I don't know what that's got. Let's have a quick look at that. No, oh, no, it doesn't have anything there. Okay, I thought it had, might have had a bus lane. But no, it's just a normal lane. Uh, so that's Hillsdale uh, done and looking a lot more aesthetically pleasing than it did before. Uh, the other one is over here in the Sandringham. Uh, as we zoom in on the station thusly, as I make the camera go 120 different directions, I apologise. Uh, we'll have a quick look here at Sandringham. As you know, we've got the, the annex there for all of the incoming freight. Uh, because as we know, Sandringham did want uh, some form of tools and some form of uh, from fuelage. So we do have that coming in periodically. As we've got uh, 104 pieces of the, uh, the lumber coming in. Lumber's taken a little bit of a hit and I'm not 100% sure as to why. But um, the tools are still going pretty damn strong, which is great. Uh, I don't think this train's going to have any problem going full load. We'll just watch this real quick, because I'm a little bit... Uh... Yeah, see, why are you only taking 84s? Weird. Anyway. But he's going 100 tools back in the opposite direction. Now, what I've done, as we watch this train take off, because we like watching trains, it's part of the reason we're here. 
train spotting. Come on, get out of my way. There you go. Uh, yeah, something similar down here. Got a water tower, couple of loco assets, couple of uh, freight bits of asset there. Uh, a very oddly placed little GW and a little GWR um, tank engine, as you do. We've then got some stuff over here. We've got a 4300 sitting over here. Uh, another GWR. Got a passenger coach behind there. And then we've got some uh, bits and pieces there. And then I did a little bit of uh, backstage stuff. More of the um, bits and pieces. A wheelbarrow. Some uh, some track just laying there. The barrels. Little house. Um, there's a truck. Another couple of dudes. Little picnic table. Uh, Homer Simpson making a making his presence known uh, yeah and I made this little road I originally made this road that goes all the way up there and as you can see they've started building on it I don't know why considering it doesn't really match the roadway and then the game in its infinite wisdom decided to make this I don't know what this is for or why it is there but uh, some people have started building some commercial on it which is always fun and as you can see uh, Sandringham now is, um, yeah, it's a city on the grow. They've grown all the way out here. And then there's this person sitting out here all by his lonesome. Look at that. I don't know why you've done that. But you did. Oh, New Year. Hello. What do we got? Got Tornado, Wright Street Cars, and uh, the Trafford Central Red Shuttle Bus. Well, that's interesting. But, yeah, so that's... Um, that's the bones of what's pretty much happened uh, today so far. Uh, now, what we were going to do today... I'm going to quickly zip off down this line, as we do, inevitably. Um, there's things going on over here. You just dropped off a bunch of log, which is great. You've just picked up nothing, which is equally great. Uh, as you can see, Gresham's doing its own little uh, bits and pieces. It's growing, growing everywheres. Um, causing a little bit of traffic chaos, but, I mean, that's that's what happens when the game decides to grow on its own. Uh, we'll follow the... Oh, hello, what do we got here? NR with a bunch of foods. Lovely. We like the foods. Then there's... I like this little, uh, this little stretch of track. It's actually kind of my favourite at the moment. Um... 46 bits of food, so you're not even running at full capacity at the moment. I don't know why, but apparently you're just running too hot, but whatever. It is what it is. Uh, and then we run over here into Evansville. And Evans Evansville is... Uh, I don't think they could sort of stretch out much further if they tried. I mean, they're trying to come out here. Um, but Evansville's quite quite huge now. Uh, the quality of the uh, stations is very poor. The quality of traffic is decent. The quality of emissions is mediocre. Um, destinations, private transport's up 90%. Apparently they don't like my trains. Uh, this is getting a bit of, uh, of hoo-ha. Charts, destinations. I still can't do the editors because it won't let me do the things that I want it to do, which is annoying, but what can you do? Uh, residents. Currently, 848 residents. I mean, for that big of a town, it should be a lot bigger than that, but oh uh, well. Uh, what I was going to do, is I was going to go down here and have a Guernsey at, uh, at this old thing. Uh, why, you may ask? Well, because I've got 135 people just sitting there doing bugger all. And then if we go back over this side, I've got... You know, growing numbers of people going backwards and forwards. So, while it's good in theory, uh, people want to go backwards and forwards at, uh, at their at their merry leisurement. So, what I was thinking of doing in today's episode was creating a um, an airport. The only problem is, I don't know which direction to go in because I don't think it matters which way I go. I'm going to end up just bungling my way through this train system because they're already marching around at full capacity um, as you can see illustrated oh hello what are you doing are oh, you picking up some tool oh that's good you're gonna run full train 
except for two bits of construction material and three bits of food. But that's good. That's a very good NR. Running nice and full, the way we like it. Oh, and here he comes, marching in. Very good. Well, the good thing is there we got we got lumber coming in from either end, so that's that's always well and good. Uh, now we've we've spent ten minutes just looking at this, um, and I'm not too sure where else to go with it. So, what we're gonna do? Uh, where are we gonna go? What are we gonna do? We're gonna do something. I wish I'd thought this through before I started today's episode, but nevertheless, what can you do? Uh, so you want brick, brick. Fuel, food, food, and food. I mean, we could sit here and we could start up a new... a new line of, of sorts. And that would be fun. Or we could come out here to Riverbed, Forestville, Tucktown, and Sydney. And we could start up uh, a bit more of the of the planky plank. Because what, what have we got here? We've got a whole bunch of things. We've got oils. We can turn that into, into a chemical which turns it into plastic. And then we can run the plastic over there. We've got coal mine, we've got ore mine, we've got steel. See, this thing's just gonna be ridiculous. And the funny thing is, is that we've got farms and processing plants, but no one wants the foods, which is kind of funny. Everyone wants this stuff, the goods and the tools. The problem is, I can't make tools on this island because there is no place to make tools. Oh well, what do you do? Um, what else have we got? We've got this massive island here, which we've done nothing with yet. we got this little island here, which is not really all that small. Uh, we've got Port de Mali, we've got Lubbock, we've got Tempe, we've got Smithsville, and we've got Sparta. Apparently that is Sparta. We could make a start on something there. We could go over here to Bentley Bay and Brisbane and River Downs and Wichita Falls. Very American of them. Uh, Fullerton and Clarksville. And then we've also got the little island over here that could with Dunmatter, Uthodurn and Zadash. Doesn't really give me a lot to go off, does it? I mean, we could expand. I mean, I've got $810 million redos in the bank and it's not like I can't do much else with this game. Uh, the only thing that Trostenwald is um, not getting, which he does want, is construction materials. Uh, and that's only because the construction materials don't come out as far as uh, the David W. Town, which is rather annoying. Um, and I can't really... Well, I mean, at the end of the day, there's food going to Trostenwald, there's food going to David W. Town, Liamsville, I don't even think he's... Is he even getting tool? I don't think he's getting tool at all. No, he's not. So he's not getting tool, and he's not getting brick. Well, we need to uh, we need to do something about that. Because there's no tools coming over here, because all I've got rocking and rolling over here is, uh, is the oils. The oils is what's coming back and forward. So that, um, that could be the start of something fresh. I could, I could, I could cart tools. Maybe, where could I cart the tools to? I wonder. I mean, I could easily whack a nice little seaport in here, connect it up to that, so that this would get picked up. That's, uh, that's the Henry train. The noisy bugger that he is. Uh, auto saves kicking and doing its thing. You know what? Yeah, let's get construction materials and tools over here. We only need a small port, uh, but I think that's what we're going to go with. We're going to go with a cargo cargo drama, because we like the cargo dramas. And we're going to whack you approximately... Oh, I see, this is, the, this is the problem that I'm going to have, is the fact that... How, how close to the ground is that? That's a very close. Alright, well, we'll whack that there. I don't even know what that is, and I don't really want to know what that is. Um, and then what we'll do is I'll go into my trusty little Ahaya, and then we're going to... Yeah, 
Yeah, we'll make that go down to there. So now in theory, yeah, so you connect up to that and that's all well and good. Uh, and that way now I could ship construction materials from wherever it is I make construction materials at the moment, which I'm pretty sure is out here at Hillsdale, which it is, because it's all getting made out here past, past whoop whoop. Uh, where's going to be the best place for me to get tools and construction materials from? Probably, probably from Riverdale. As silly as that, nah, that, that just sounds dumb. Uh, at least if I'm getting tools up to there, the tools can get run up through Hillsdale, could probably get run along here somewhere, and either up to Alexandria or in here to Melbourne. Now, I was contemplating a, uh, a port... Uh, a portly drama here for um, for this mob. Uh, the only problem I've got is the station's all the way over there. See, so I haven't really placed this very well at all. Uh, and I can't really shove one out here either because... Well, I mean, I could. Could I? Nah, so that's way too low to the ground. Um, all right, well, we're gonna have to think of something else then, because there's no construction materials and there's no tools getting to the starter island, and I need to get them there. Um, hmm. Okay. Well, the tools are in Riverdale. The construction materials could also make their way to Riverdale. Station's all the way up there. Not that that's a huge problem. I mean, the easiest thing to do for me right now would be to use planes. But uh, we're not really going with that just yet, are we? Um, Alright, let's spin you around here, sunshine. Nah. No, you know what? We are going to go with planes. Uh, because the planes, I think, are going to work a bit better. So we'll get, get rid of him. Get rid of that. Alright, so the first thing we're going to need is a small freight airport. Yep, yeah, that's what I'm going with. Uh, passenger airfield. Passenger airport. Cargo airfield. And a cargo airport. Airport with up to two runways for small and large. And this one's just got the smalls. Alright, so we're just going to go with the small one. Um, now I've got to figure out where the hell to build it. I mean, I could easily build one out here, and that wouldn't be... Uh... Well. Liamsville. You wanted... Uh... You wanted the action... It looks like, my friend, that you might be getting uh, the action. Now, what I might need to do here is I might need to do some terraforming. Which I'm never upset about doing. I need a bigger brush. There we go. Alright, here you go. Let's make this happen. And then what I could do, realistically, is I could put uh, Liamsville on the map by having... Uh, that which he desires, which was a, um, an airport. I've never given Liamsville an airport, so this could be fun. Oh, hello, we got a whole bunch of Kiwi Rail. That's a lot of Kiwi Rail. What are you doing to me? And then I've got China, who's come to the table with a HXD3B, whatever the heck that thing is. Alright, well, you know what? What we're going to do is we're going to build... A little tiny bit of road out to here. Yep. And then we're going to make this go around here like that. Make it flat. And then we're going to make you come out this way. You're also going to be flat. There you go. Uh, and then we can build an airport. But what I'm going to do is I'm going to build the large cargo airfields. So that I can have all matter of plane planage. No, I don't want any of that crap. Right. No, why? Why? 
Is it because I haven't terraformed enough? Well, fine, I'll terraform some more. Alright, here you go. Can I... I need a bigger space. Terraforming is lots of fun. Lots of fun for you and me. Right, we're going airports, people. They're making their way. Make them away. Right, you can come over there. This ought to give me more than enough room to have my my gigantic airport that I so desire. And then I just have to figure out where I'm going to put one on the opposite map. Well, the opposite section of the map, I should say. Right, so now, will you play ball? Yes. Yes, you will. Alright, play ball. Zoom in. Give me some... Right, so now I've got to... Yeah. Nope. That didn't work. Back out there slightly. Is that spot on? That will do. Lovely. Now I've got me an airport. Uh, that's the main buildings. That's the passenger terminal, so I need one of them. I need a passenger terminal. I don't want any more of that. I do need one of them. Right, there you go. We now have got us a convoluted airport. It only has got the one... Oh, hang on. Oh, yeah, no, that's fine. I only, I only want a small one. I don't need anything too extravagant. Right, so you can do that. Now we've got to go over here. Now I've got the opportunity to get passengers who come off at the station here. They can walk up here to the airport. The freight can get put into there. And that will come straight onto the station anyway. Yeah, that's perfect. Do that. Uh, Alright, so now we want... So that's a cargo airfield. This one we want a cargo airport. We want a big one. Yes. That's what we want. We want the big one. Alright, so... Best place for you, Sunshine. Surprisingly, it's probably going to have to be here. Is that going to fit? Is that going to do what I want it to do? That's the question. Alright, zoom around the corner there. Shove your airport in here, somewhere, wherever it'll go. Nah, see, so that's not... That's, that's just dumb. Nah, see, that's not going to work. I don't... I don't think I could make that work in a million years. Um, I'd like it to ultimately be close to the station. I mean, I really would. No, I want the other landing direction the other way, please. Yeah, that's a bit better. That way. Yeah, you know what? That might actually work. Might that actually work? No. I don't know. I don't really want... <coughs> excuse me. I don't really want to build it out in Sandringham. 
And originally my plan was for Hillsdale, since everything can get to Hillsdale. Now I could, actually, you know what I could do? Hit the pause button. Pause game. Now if I was to try something like, I'm talking ridiculous, like this, you'd probably all think I was mad. Now, I mean, guaranteed, I am mad. Some would say I'm madder than a cut snake, but... I can always rebuild that sort of a line. What I can't do is have this gigantic opportunity go to waste. So, what have we got? Are you going to allow me to do these things that I wish to do? Now, see, you are. You are going to allow me to do that. What it will mean is I'm going to have to make that um, highway probably a tunnel. Which is fine. I have no, no drama doing that. And that way now, Hillsdale will have immediate access to an airport. Yeah, you know what? Done. Do it. Right, so what have you got at the moment? You've got a passenger terminal? No, you do not. You need a passenger terminal. There you go. Now you've got a passenger terminal. That's the cargo terminal. That's the main building for street access to airports. That's the cargo terminal. And that's the hangar. Right, well, we have everything then that we need. Uh, the next part of my strategy is as follows. Here comes the insanity. Hold on to your heads. Right. Go down. Go down. Ah, oh, no. It doesn't work. That's fine. I can, I can hoik it around the outside. Right. Uh, what we're going to do is we're going to delete... Delete that. And then we're going to come here and we're going to go... Ah, uh, hiya. Now, I do need the... I do need the curves. Yep, so this should work. In theory, it should work. Yeah, see, this will work. No props. No, 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 no. What's, what's this crap? Don't, don't give me this rubbish. Okay, we'll delete a bit more of it then. That way you can come off of there and everyone's happy. Yeah, see there you go. Now you got now you got your Yeah, look at that. That looks good. Right, so Hillsdale Airport is done. All the freight can come in through there. Uh, I can buy vehicles. So I'm pretty sure I've got like cargo planes that'll carry like a, a mozza. 22, 20, 54, that's good. I don't think I need that much though. That's a Boeing, that's a 51. But you know what? We're probably going to go with that Boeing. It's got the flight speed. It will carry a fair whack of stuff. And since it's Hillsdale, it will be able to carry a fair whack. And it will carry all cargoes. So yes, we're going to have one plane. Now we're going to make a new line. So you're going to go from the cargoes. And then you're going to fly... Over to the brand new Liamsville airport. Done. Uh, this is... This is loading. No, that's the game crashing on me. Well, isn't that wonderful? Alright. Hopefully I didn't lose too much on that. Oh, no, there's an auto save just beforehand. So, I'll see you guys on the other side of the... Uh, Transition! Okay, and we're now back after what's been a five minute long, six minute long ordeal uh, where the game crashed. Uh, I've had to rebuild the airport. I've had to relay the highway here. Uh, now, what I think happened was this is only a tiny airport. This is not a big one. And I don't think that the game liked it too much when I tried to put a giant plane on a small airport. So, we're going to fix that promptly 
Here you go. Look at the size of this. You are getting the full grand show here, Liamsville. You're getting all of it. Right, so you can go there. Uh, yes, you can. Get on it. Done. Now, you do need a passenger terminal because you don't have one currently. But there you go. You're now done. Right. So, what we're going to do, just to make sure that it doesn't stuff up on me again. Save the game. There you go. That's now saved. River Dream is now saved. We should not have to put up with this rubbish anymore. Uh, then, we're going to go buy a plane. Now, where's that plane? I want that, uh, that cargo plane. Where is it? Was it the... No, it was one of the big ones. It was this thing. This plane. So we're going to spend $25 million dues on a plane. We're then going to make you go from there. And you're going to fly your merry little way out to Hillsdale. There you go. You're now done. At least we hoped. No. Nope. Ah, game didn't crash that time. Hey, go you. Uh, so this will be called... Um, this will be called Inter-Island Freight. Inter-Island. Yeah, I like that. It's got a interesting ring to it. And then what I'm going to do is I'm going to buy a plane at each end here for passengers and have them go in opposite paths so they will not annoy each other. That seems like the right thing to do for me. Passengers. Now, what have we got? I want the Virgin planes. Where's the Virgins? There it is. Virgin plane. Yeah. I mean, I could go for the ridiculous super jet, although the Virgin plane goes far. Virgin plane goes faster. Well, there you go. That, that makes a lot of sense. Right, so now I'm going to need to create another new island. A new line, sorry. I lied. I'm going to go from passenger. Yeah. Passenger to passenger. Here we go, ready? See if the game crashes. It did not. Not yet. Ha 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 uh, Inter Island Passenger. Beautiful. And then I'll go to this end. No, 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 no. I want to buy a plane. Give me a stupid plane. Uh, it's the same plane. Yes. So I'm going to have one Virgin plane and one Boeing 737-700. It's exactly the same plane, but um, it doesn't have the Virgin uh, stuff on it. So you can go on the Inter-Island Passenger as well. Get clicked. Done. Right. Let's make, let's make planes happen. This has been a long time coming. But the good news is we finally have a means with which to do things. Now, if I... Ah, oh, yeah, so passengers can just walk. If they can walk, it's not far. Won't kill them. It'll be the same thing up in Hillsdale, funnily enough. So, where's your flight path? Right. So, you lot, what do you do? So, you come around that way, you fly out of here... Do a mad turnaround and off you go. Yeah, right, okay. Well, that makes sense to me. Get rid of those, because we don't need them. All right, let's watch plane take off. We haven't done this in this series yet. And we will do it right now. Here we go. Watch a plane. There he goes. Go, plane, go. Up he goes. Is he going to miss that tree? Ever so barely. But he missed it. That's good. And there's uh, there's El Cut. That's not... Uh... Oh, that was the freight plane. That's fine. He can do his thing. That's the passenger plane. That's fine. Now, where has he done his little turnaround? Oh, here he is. He's over here. Doing a mad bank. Probably some sort of illegal banking manoeuvres there, but whatever. Right, so that's that one. How's the one in Hillsdale going? Oh, okay, and you fly off in that direction. 
up and over the town. Well, giddy up to you. There you go. It's not too terrible at all. Now, you guys are all heading up that way to go that way. Yeah, that's fine. I, I don't really mind for that. That's easy enough said and done. Okay. So now we just wait. Yep, so passengers can just walk from there to there. Uh, the, the freight will do its automatic freightness. So I don't need to worry about that too much. Hopefully now we can get some tools on the plane. We can get some, uh, some other stuff on that plane and get it over to, um, Williamsville and David, and, um, Trustenwall, which is the other two places. We'll have to wait for a little while because as much as I enjoy doing this, uh, that's now costing me a lot of money to run. I've got $773 million redos, so I shouldn't really be concerned. Trams are making me money. That's always nice. Plane will come in from that way, and we'll just go, hey ya, and then you'll take off in that direction. Banking over the top of all these cars and half of Hillsdale. But the good news is, it will work. There's a plane somewhere. Here it is. Let's watch him. Watch him come in. Oh, look at this. This is going to be glorious. Nah, quick, go to the airport. Watch him fly. Watch him land. Oh, look at that. Look at that shot. Wait. Oh, yeah. That's going to be the... Um... That, my friends, is going to be uh, the thumbnail for today's episode. As we watch the plane come into play, come into land... There he is. Well, I don't think that could have worked any better if I tried. I think that was very good. Plane has landed. Hasn't overshot the runway. Autosave's kicking in to stop my plane from going around a corner. There he goes. Oh, that's... That's just lovely. Yeah. That's very good. I like that. I like that a lot. Oh, there's me passenger plane. Losing me a million dollar dues at a time. But that's fine. Did I see people walking down? Yep, there's people. Look at that. There are people walking down towards the airport. Ah, oh, well, that's... That just means this is going to work. I just need to get some freight. Some freight needs to come in, and then that will be, like... Simply put, probably one of the most greatest things I've ever seen in my life. But I'm quite happy with that. I mean, I've created, like, the world's worst bottleneck for tra traffic trying to get into... To town here. But, um... You know, that's neither here nor there. I mean, I could easily just build a... Do I really want to invest in doing that? Build some sort of an apparatus that brings the cars out here and they can... Do I dare? No, I don't dare. We're already six minutes over and we've hit the 40 minute mark. So that will probably do it for today. We'll, uh, we'll invest in this sort of uh, futuristic whatnot at a later date. I could just do a quick little sneaky sneaky. What do you reckon? You reckon do a quick sneaky sneak? What if I just create this? What if I just did that? That should get rid of half this problem. I say should. It might not. But there you go, there's, there's some traffic getting out of there, some more traffic going down there, they're all going down one lanes, yeah there you go, that's, that's already made that a lot better.
Some people want to go this way. And that'll break that up. That's brilliant. I'm really glad I did that just now. Little, little, little tiny off-ramp. For those people wanting to go down this here, this merry little way down here. Look at this. Yeah. That doesn't look half bad. There you go. You guys are off. No, two cars at a time. No, three cars at a time. Oh, four cars at a time. Oh, here we go. We've got Travel Coventry's. West Midlands. HHP8s. And whatever that thing is. 200 kilometres an hour. Oh, goodness. Trains just get faster and faster these days. But then again, that's what happens when you get to the year 3088. Now, did that plane take anything with it? Where's that plane? He got nine passengers on board. Oh, well, good on him. Just need to get some freight working now, and that'd be... That'd be grand. That's a passenger train. You're not really much good to me over there. But I've got a lot of people... Look at this. I've got a lot of people walking down to go to the airport. Oh. There you go. So effectively, last thing I'll do in this episode... Effectively now, what that'll do is allow me to delete this. It means I won't need this nonsense anymore. Uh, you know what? No, I'll keep both of them running because... Those planes will have a lot of work to do, so... We might just, uh... Might just leave that at that. Uh, the one thing I did want to do real quick... What are you? Oh, you're just that grain train that comes in here and just stops off in there, aren't you? Yes, you are. Alright, so you're just the David W. grain train. Coming in hot from David W. town. But realistically now, I could delete you and just put naffies on the trains that are running backwards and forwards. Because, really, this line needs to run everything. Yeah. Yeah, we'll do that real quick. Right, get sold. Sorry, David W. Grain Train. You're gone. Come to the lines. Where's the David W. Grain Train? I've got to get rid of that now. Sorry, David W. Your train's gone. Uh, but what I do need is the... Um, that's the oil refinery transfer. That's the food delivery. What is the name of the train? I don't want this... Oh, it's this one. Starter Island Food. This is going to become Starter Island Freight. Now, I've only got one of you, so I'm going to need two of you for one. I'm going to have to edit you. Because I don't think that those little flat wagons carry everything. And I'm pretty sure they don't. Alright, get rid of you, get rid of you, get rid of you. Right, go to cargo. Where's those little flat cars? Because I know you don't carry everything. Right, you don't carry grain. You do tools, you do food, you do fuel, you do brick. So you do everything else that I need you to do, but you don't do that one thing that I need you to do. Right. I'm going to need the little naffies. Where are those little naffy? There they are. They only go 80k an hour. And they only carry 8 But they take everything. Right. So if I do that, it's 125 metres long. I'm going to have to get rid of you. I need the toad van. Where's me little toad vans? There he is somewhere. I'll find them. You bet I will. Better find them right quick. Where's he gone? Come here, toad van. There it is. Whack one of you on the end. There you go. Change that up. And you know what? Clone it. Still got that one. It's 
suppose he needs to keep doing what he's doing. That locomotive is noisy as buggery and I don't like him anymore. Go away. Steam. That's too fast. The Renfizzes. Eighty K. I think them. Edit. Get rid of you. You know what? I could whack something a lot better on that, and I'm going to. What are we gonna put on you? What are we gonna put on you? Well, that didn't work the way I had envisaged. No, it didn't. But never mind. It is what it is. People are walking up now to my freight... Oh. You're taking the fuels. Oh, well, that's interesting. Ah, okay. Interesting. And how many people you... No, I want, I want to know the peoples. 59 was still a bunch more coming. Well, there you go. That's interesting and different. All right, what are you? You're an 80 kilometer an hour bloody speed demon. Oh, you know what? No, go back into this. Don't give me the Edward. Give me the um, give me that one. Get rid of him. I don't want him. Because these trains only do 80 if memory serves. So I've got to find the one that does the 80s. There he is. Now I need a red one. But I'm pretty sure I can't have a red one. Because you're not going to let me. Because the game hates me. Oh god, does that look terrible or what? You know what? Humour me. No! Stupid bloody thing. Righto, give me a red one. Add that on there. See what that does. Right, so now I've got you. Yeah, well that's really interesting, because now I don't have to cart all of that Oh, does that mean it's going to try and cart me fuel and everything up the other end? Because I didn't think of that. I might need more stuff. So nothing coming through for them yet. That's interesting. What do you got? Not much. Right, you're a freight plane. You're a passenger plane with 33 passengers on board. You got 53 passengers waiting. Well, there you go. How's my little off ramp doing? Terribly. You know what I should have done? I should have done this. I should have gone. You know what? Here it is, you. I should have gone like this and gone. Ah, ya! So you could come out right in the middle there, and that way you could just go wherever the hell you wanted to go. Hello, plane. You're in my way. Right. So people coming in there, great. People waiting there, great. Oh, look at that. Bit of food and a bit of food. Some cargo items are lost because the station's overloaded. What do you mean you're overloaded? You got nothing there. Oh, 
See, this is what I did hate about planes, and I remember now why I don't do freight by plane. It's because of that nonsense. Ah, you piece of crap. I wonder if I can configure miscellaneous. That's a runway, that's an approach lights, and that's a second runway. No, I can't change anything about this. Configure. Cargo terminal. No. Yeah, see, that's what I hate, is the fact that I sit here, and I'm like, okay, let's do freight. And it's like, hey, i got nine pieces of freight, and I don't like you. Yeah, that, that irritates the hell out of me. Alright, well, at least the passenger stuff's up and running. And realistically, all I would need to do is add... Yeah, you know what, we'll do that in the next episode. I'm not going to do it today, because we've been on this for too long. Uh, folks, that's going to do it for today. Uh, we've done planes. Passenger, at least, is successful. Uh, the, the attempt at a freight airport is obviously a massive bust. Because I'm going to go, oh, look at this, I don't have enough. Uh, so we're going to revert back to the, uh, the old system uh, that we had. Oh, hello, look at this. Look at that. All the food and all the fuel. And you're just going to keep dropping that off in here. Oh, hello. Oh, he doesn't look that terrible. What was I worried about? Oh, there you go. Giddy up. Uh, yes, next episode I am going to get rid of the freight aspect. In fact, you know what? As I'm talking, I am going to do it right now. Because this is just rubbish. It's only bringing in oil. Nah. 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 Get sold. Don't be stupid. Uh, and then we're going to go in here and get rid of the inner island freight, because that, that line can just get nicked. Uh, manage the line. Yeah, inner island freight, get nicked. There you go. Nah. Not having you. Not having a bar of you at all. Uh, and then it's just shoved all that oil on there for me. That's wonderful. Uh, yes, next episode, guys, we will venture into other things. We will try and get things sourced and happening. Now that this Starter Island, Liamsville, is now the uh, prosperous little town that it is, I'm going to have to figure out next episode uh, a second means with which to do a bit of freight to there to there so that these little trains can carry a little bit more goob and take down some tools and construction materials for Liamsville and uh, what's he gooby. So guys, thank you very much for watching and I will see you for the next instalment in this Transport Fever 2 River Dream series. Take care everyone.